Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Christ Dim to be in a city, which is based out of Bangalore and one of the good options for different courses, including engineering. So it's a UGC recognition is status is Dim to be in a city since 2008 and it's a NAC A++ grade university, right? So it which is the highest standard in terms of NAC accreditation. And it's also ISO 9001 2015 certified for quality management system with good international recognition. So in terms of NIRF ranking for 2024 for different courses by AICT. So at university level, it is 60th best university in India and overall at the level, you know, 90th. Now for different courses, law, it is recognized as 15th best in India and for management, again, it is recognized as 60th, 60th best in India. As per the NIRF and engineering, it is 93rd rank. So in all the categories, it has got a good recognition. And this is the main address, which is on the Hosur Road, where the main campus is located. But then again, they have good number of campuses in India. So Dharma Maram campus, which I showed earlier in the Dairy Circle, Bangalore, is the main campus. And in the Bangalore itself, they have the another campus, which is in Holi Mao Banargata Road. And uh, then they have the Merit, which is uh, Ghaziabad Delhi NCR campus. They have a campus in Pune, uh, Lavasa, right, Mulshi. And then the last campus, which is in Bangalore, also called the Bangalore Kangiri campus, which I'm going to discuss later in this video. Before that, I'm going to talk about the different courses and the admission process itself. So for BBA, BCA, BCom, all those st students, you know, uh, you have to appear for Christ University entrance test, CUET, followed by, you know, your group discussion and interviews, right? So that is the regular process. For the law, they have the courses related with BLLB and BBLLB, and they accept different scores, which are like CLAT scores, you know, common law admission test and the LSAT scores as well. For engineering, which is BTEC, which I'm also going to talk in this video, is Christ University Engineering Entrance Test or J Main Score. Both exam scores can be uh, used. And next one is the MBA course for which they accept CAT, Common Admission Test, MAT, CMAT, GMAT, Z scores as well. And they it will be followed by GD and PI, which is personal interview process for admission in MBA. So as I mentioned, the admission in School of Engineering and Technology, which is I'm going to talk. And this is part of the School of Engineering and Technology in Christ was started in 2009. So it's almost like 10 batches have passed from this the engineering course. And it's a UGC approved, NAC accredited, ICT approved, all those regular you know, affiliations. And, and the campus is based out of Kangiri campus. So Kangiri campus is also quite beautiful, 78 0.5 acres so it's quite big campus and if you can see from here this is the main campus top view and it's quite beautiful in the green environment overall so this is basically a short campus tour of the kangiri campus and you can see the you know infrastructure capabilities with respect to all the auditoriums and uh, the uh, you know sports areas as well as the overall buildings and the learning environment library the cafeteria for fun and the other purpose and the transportation is provided as well as there are regular events across the year so that is the overview on the kangiri campus now i'm going to talk about the programs offered under school of engineering and technology so they have department of civil engineering department of computer science engineering then they have electrical and electronics engineering department next is the department of electronics and communication engineering mechanical and automobile engineering sciences and humanities engineering so all of those fields are available and i'm going to talk about the complete fee structure as well as details in this video so eligibility first so if you are writing christ university entrance test as well you should be plus two level pass with any of these boards which are recognized and the next one is uh, like uh, uh, you can and get admission through christ university entrance test as i mentioned as well as the je test and you should have studied physics and mathematics as compulsory one of the subjects in your plus two level so physics and maths is compulsory and then one of the subjects from the 14 subjects which i'm going to show but you should have got 50 percent in physics and 50 percent in maths individually so the third subject which i said will be one of these 14 subjects it can be chemistry or computer science or electronics or it information practices biology agriculture graphics business studies all of these are allowed one of the 14 subjects but maths and physics are compulsory next is uh, for applying you know you will have to basically put your class 10th and 11 marks card right for writing the exam itself for international students again ib curriculum is must and with 24 credits 
So admission process is already on from 8th of December. It will go up to 29th April. And these are the branches like BTEC CSC, the most common one. You can also study CSC with AIML branch, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. There is option of CSC with Cyber Security uh, spe Specialization. They do have CSC with uh, IoT Specialization also available. And then CSC with Data Sciences. So all those CSC specializations are available. There is also BTEC in AIML, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So talking about the fee structure, there will be admission, admission registration fees of 8,000 rupees, which is non-refundable. And then the first year fee for Karnataka students will be like 2,59,000 like and fees for the other students will be like 2,79,000. Like and um, so this is again 10% increase is possible in this fee structure. And for NRI students, it will be 3,60,000 like uh, per year. And there will be increase in fees every year, 10% every year, year on year. Now going forward. They have ECE branch, Electronics and Communication Engineering and the specialization branch of ECE is also available which is called Electronics and Computer Engineering which is Artificial Intelligence with specialization in Machine Learning. So all these options are available. Again, the fee structure for it will be like 2,52,000 rupees for Karnataka students and 2,72,000 for other Indian state students. So again, this is 10% revision year on year is going to happen. For NRI student, it remains same at 3,60,000 and for other OCI student, 5,200 USD. Now let's talk about the other branches which are available. BTEC in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. You have BTEC in Automobile Engineering. BTEC programs in Mechanical Engineering. BTEC in newer technologies like Robotics and Mechatronics also available here. So fees for all of these core branches for Karnataka students around 2,18,000 and for the other Indian state student it will be like 2,38,000. For the NRI students it will be like 3,35,000 and for Africa PIO OCI citizens it will be like $4,500. Now there are courses also available in BTEC Civil Engineering with some specializations in computer branches like Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. And fee structure for it will be like Karnataka student 1,89,000, Indian other state students 2,9,000, 3,15,000 for NRIs and 4,500 uh, 4, USD for OCI and the other citizens, right? So again, 10% revision is possible year on year basis. Now talking about the admission process, which is through Christ University admission and uh, form filling guidelines. So you will have to apply basically on this portal, which is spro.christuniversity.in backslash application. So once you go there, you will find this login and registration page. So first time students uh, have, which haven't registered yet, they will have to click register here button at the bottom of the screen and it will show you the details which like name of the candidates as per the school record, email ID, phone number, which are, you have to enter. And then WhatsApp mobile number, date of birth, password will be generated with the guideline. So that all you have to do. And then you will be able to basically confirm password and register and next step will be basically you will be able to log in into and complete application. So that's all I have to cover in this particular video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges across India. Take care.